Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So it's been about two days now that I've had my new CPU set up with the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. I did uh, manage to find a uh, PBO setting that I'm happy with in the BIOS. I did a negative 15 offset PBO with a uh, Expo DDR5 64-bit uh, meg rate transfer setting. And I decided I'm going to run Cinnamon R23 and also a 2024 with my Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. So we're gonna go ahead and run this test and we will monitor the temperatures here with core temp and we'll do the multi-core tests. So let me go ahead and let these uh, cores get loaded up while the test runs. It seems that I maintain a little below 5,000 megahertz and a little above 5,000 megahertz on half and half of the cores max load temperature there of 76 C and a max wattage of 144 I think it said. Okay so we did complete that test and we got a score of 36,821 with my Ryzen 9 750X3D. So what we're going to do next is uh, we'll run Cinebench 2024 so we'll get that, get that loaded up and we will see what the score is so stay tuned. Okay, so I got Cinebench 2024 loaded up. I got the CPZ up there in the corner and also core temp. We're going to go ahead and start a multi-threaded core test. And as always, we will monitor the temperatures. This test does take longer. So while it's loading up the cores and uh, running its uh, series of tests, I will close the video temporarily to uh, let the process finish. But it looks like we hit a max load temperature of 77C thus far. Clock speed still maintaining what it did in 1023 to the bench. And it uh, looks like it lit, went a little over 5100 megahertz there on core temp. Now I do have an option to raise the power limit to I think it was 175 watts. Maybe it was 180 watts. But I decided to just keep it lower. Just want to be safer now. I just got the CPU. And obviously, for those of you who saw my video, I already had my issues with the i9 running too much power. So, I didn't really want to push things too far. I'm sure I probably can. I am running a 420 millimeter radiator with my uh, AIO setup. But I'd rather uh, keep it safe for now. Just find some safe, stable benchmarks, and then we'll uh, take things from there. So, a little bit to let this test keep running. And then uh, when we get to the end, I will show you the scores overall. Okay, we are still running, but we are basically getting towards the end here. Max load temperature, 77 degrees Celsius. Still maintaining the same clock speeds. It's never been below 4900 megahertz. From what I saw. So we will see our score for the multi-core test Ryzen 9 7950X3D. And that was 2080. Previously, I did run a test a little bit earlier, just a little bit higher. So that's where I admit uh, negative 15 PBO offset with 6400 megahertz uh, transfer rate for my DDR5 Expo memory. So, what we're going to do now is run some gaming benchmarks as I always do with a video shadow play. So, stay tuned for those videos if you do want to see those. I hope you guys enjoyed this video presentation of the Ryzen 9, Ryzen 9 7950X 3D and we will continue making tests and record the footage and we'll take things from there. But enjoy guys and thanks for watching.